everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson, and welcome to this special grand opening of Ladera Linda Community Park. We're overlooking the park right now where the community and elected leaders are coming together to celebrate this long awaited day. Hi, John Cruikshank here, Mayor of Rancho Palos Verdes. Here I am today opening ceremonies for the Ladera Linda Community Center. Well, play by play, so let's go back probably eight years when we it was first an idea of residents and the community to take the old Ladera Linda school and take it down and actually build a community center. And we went through a few different designs. And here today we ended up with this amazing design that was done by the Johnson Favaro architecture team. Over those eight years though, there was a lot of community meetings. There was a lot of redesigns. There was a lot of thought. And maybe there was even some sweat and tears all in that. But at the end of the day, here we are with the community at opening day at Ladera Linda Center, Community Center. I welcome you all here coming down, come down on the weekend, have book your appearances. You could do yoga classes. There's this huge community room that's all glass, which has an amazing view of Catalina. And we've got trails going all the way around the park. There's people already playing paddle tennis. They've been They've been chomping at the bit to get up there. The kids are up there playing basketball. They have the adjustable uh, baskets where they can bring them down low enough to where even I can slam dunk, which is really low, like almost like right here. I have to give it to give it a shout out to the entire city staff. The city team has been absolutely amazing, starting with the Rec and Park Department, of course, our Public Works Department, uh, our city manager, Ara Moranian, and all the people that made this possible. This project, I know money-wise, we're probably under somewhere under 19 million, which is a lot of money. And so the taxpayers get a lot of credit too for, for paying for this building. But also I want every, all the residents to come enjoy this. You walk through this park today and you think to yourself, how is it that we didn't have something this amazing for, for all the people and the residents? And at this point, we now have it. We have something that everyone in our community can come enjoy, and I hope you all do. Of course, we might even have a pie contest or two down here one of these days. And I could also see our holiday party being here because when you come out here and you see the views and you see the nature and trees, and the excitement that's out here, you're gonna be amazed. So please come to Ladera Linda Community Center and thank you all for all your support. Hi, I'm Eliza Santa Rosa and these are my kids. Hi, I'm Romola. Hi, I'm Ellie. What's your name? This is Dominic, and we are we are so excited about the new playground here and the new center. Um, I grew up here close by, and we're just excited about the things that this place will bring to our community. Ellie, what are you excited about? I'm excited about going on the slide. It looks really fun. Good. Romola, what are you excited about? TV. Being on TV. Okay. Dominic, are you excited? Mm. No. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ara Moranian, Rancho Palos Verde City Manager, and I am here on the grounds of the new Ladera Linda Community Park. And I have to be honest, I am overwhelmed with emotions. I cannot believe what I'm seeing before me. Um, it, is, it is a dream come true. It is a dream realized and truly, truly touches me when I see everything behind me and the kids playing. I did not expect a response like this and this, this exceeds my expectations. Seeing people playing paddle tennis, seeing people walking around and experiencing their community park. This is what community is all about. This is what a city is all about. It brings people together to congregate and to recreate. And I'm just listening and absorbing all the sounds and the faces of joy and happiness. And that is what makes dreams come true. I hope the community enjoy this new facility and embrace what it brings to Rancho Palos Verdes for generations to come. We love, love the parks. parks. Parks make life better. Yes. Three, two, one. Nice. Nice. Party's again.
I'm feeling lovely. It was a wonderful champagne toast, but I got to tell you, it's been a hard knocks time getting here. And I could go back 30 years with this place because my daughter, who's now 41, was a little ballerina when we had no water because there was no gas and um, there was no heat as a result. And we have fought since I was on the first city council in 1992 uh, to do something here. But it was only since we really got going in 2011 to really make this a reality. But what a piece of artwork. And I'm so happy we went with the people we did to do the construction, do the design. They were able to finally produce something that I think the world will be proud of, the community will be mostly proud of, because it was built for the neighborhood and the community in mind. I am so honored and humbled to have been part of this, and God bless our wonderful community of Rancho Palos Verdes. Hello, Rancho Palos Verdes. This is former mayor and councilman Jerry Dehovic, along with former mayor and councilman Jim Knight, here at the wonderful celebration of the Ladera Linda Community Park. Uh, it's a gorgeous day. We've had some rain recently, but we brought the sun out for this wonderful day. I'd just like to say that I have a long history here. I live right down the street for about 21 years now and uh, very familiar with the old Ladera Linda School. Uh, my daughters went to Montessori there. The kids used to walk down to my house and do swimming. My daughters did ballet. Anyway, it was long overdue that that, uh, that wonderful park that served our community well for 40 plus years be retired. And as we sit here today, this is actually my first time uh, wandering around this beautiful facility. Uh, I think it is uh, just spectacular. All the residents that I'm talking to here say it's, it's beyond their wildest dreams. And uh, I wish, you know, much success for this venue and the city moving into the future. Jim. Yes, uh, thank you, Jerry. Yeah, this is probably one of the most beautiful community centers I have ever seen. You have to come here. This has a panoramic view of Catalina and the ocean. And the way they've designed the buildings with tall glass windows, you feel like you're outdoors while you're indoors. Some great facilities here. I think the community can really use this facility for a lot of events for themselves. And I think uh, RPV's done a wonderful job of putting this all together. Yeah, it, it took a while and many councils, and again, there was a lot of input here. Uh, I think with the, the uh, various rules and how this facility is gonna be used, I hope the local neighborhoods uh, are happy with the outcome and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Always subject to tweaking, but it's a great facility. Again, uh, hope you come by and check it all out. Thank you very much. It's really exciting. I mean, I've been seeing it built for like the last few months, if not like over the last year at least. And I hike up behind kind of this area a lot. So I look down on it and um, it's super exciting to like know that I can literally just walk up that big old staircase over there and like have this whole recreational area to use for myself, like come up and read a book or something. How about for you, Grace? Like we're standing in front of this screen where I mean, every day photos are being taken so you can see it now in real time as it was Built. Yes, it was exciting to see the progress, you know, over the uh, past year, and I'm, you know, it's it, it the the finish uh, park is beautiful. I'm looking forward to come and and seeing the views and w walking around and probably do some laps. <laughs> I'm Kedrick Burns, uh, recreation supervisor here at Ladera Linda. I'm excited for the brand new opening, new facility. We got a lot of great things happening here, and we're excited to have our new playground, our basketball courts, our paddle tennis. If you look at the building that's behind me, we're right next to our discovery room, which is great for our docents. You're going to be able to, when you're out on a hike, you'll be able to come in and see ancient artifacts. Also along the building, we have other rooms that will be available for rent. We'll be hosting classes here, small events, large events, you name it. We are so excited. So this is a great, great day. I've been in this field since 2004. So just being able to watch kids grow, watch communities be able to come out and enjoy something in the neighborhood, it's very exciting. We have a team of eight people who are very excited. Um, People have been in the field of recreation for a good 10 plus years. So there's a lot of experience here, great customer service skills. 
We're so excited for the people here. When you walk into this facility, you'll be greeted by great staff members. We actually also have a staff member who lives in the community, so she knows this community inside and out. We're very excited and can't wait for you guys to come and enjoy this park as much as we are. All right, my name is Rainer Hunter, and this is... Eric Wolterding with Open Space Management. We are here today on the uh, grand opening on Friday, uh, 2024. Uh, the Ranger used to be at this facility back when it was the school, and uh, now it's been uh, reclaimed into a beautiful new establishment infrastructure. Uh, really, really excited to be here, really excited for the community interactions here. Yeah, so it is a, a pretty good hub here to have uh, right near our trails and Forest Hall Reserve. Um, we have lovely hiking trails behind there. And this is just a great facility to have open, looks beautiful, looks amazing, great place for people to, to come and, and uh, recreate and uh, enjoy the, the beautiful scene here, the beautiful views and uh, have a great time in our city and our parks. Great to be talking with the Gilkers. They live right here in Ladera Linda, and you, Lena, used to work here when it was in Montessori. Talk yes. about this, the transformation you've witnessed. <laughs> well, it's really been nice to be able to see the progress. Um, I remember what it used to look like and those little old-fashioned sinks that we used to have for the children. And um, it was really a, a nice thing to have for the kids. But this is very, very exciting to see all of the new progress and all, a new generation of children that are going to be able to enjoy and come and have all the nature around them. So it's all good. Plus, I can walk my dog around here. Um, that's going to be amazing as well. For you, what are you excited about having this right here in your community? Oh, just a little bit of everything, you know, a little bit of uh, community get-together or whatever is going to be, you know, school, little classes and things. And the way that they have it all laid out is just really picture perfect. Yeah. I'm Corey Linder. I'm the director of the Recreation and Parks Department for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Um, this process to get to where we are today uh, started in about 2015. Uh, we started the citywide master plan, master plan process for uh, all our park facilities. And uh, the first one, um, it was kind of our first task that was given to me as I started with the city, was to you know, proceed with Ladera Linda. And uh, it's been a, a long, long eight years, uh, but uh, we are where we are. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful project. It is a beautiful project. Uh, we've got plenty of amenities, brand new. It's it's. It's always fun to be able to open a new facility because you don't do that very often in the public sector. Hi, I'm Ramsey Awad, Public Works Director for the City of Rancho Palos Verdes. I was very fortunate to work on this project with some incredible people, and today is the culmination of a lot of hard work. I hope that the residents of the city will enjoy this facility for years to come. Hi, uh, my name is Jay Foder. I'm the president of Los Serenos de Point Vicente, and welcome to our brand new discovery room here at the beautiful Ladera Linda Community Center. Um, it's a gorgeous space for us. Los Serenos is uh, in charge of educational outreach, supporting the uh, city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And so our mission with this room will be to bring children through here, teach them about nature, teach them about the local fauna and flora, plus the history of this area. Um, as you can see, we've got a beautiful cabinets here, and we are, all of the things we do are very interactive with the children. Um, they're able to t t talk about some of our animals here, even the skunks. And so we learned, we teach them all about the, uh, the local area. So that's it. We've got a beautiful space here. We're ready to host field trips. We've got two or three in March that we'll be bringing children through here. So uh, welcome, and we hope to see you here. It's wonderful to be with another RPV resident. You live right at the bottom of the stairs in Seaview. Yeah. What do you think about this? Oh, this is great. I've been really, I've been looking forward to it. I actually have been watching the live stream, like checking in on the updates the kids so we've been looking forward to this for a long time we're really excited the kids are here in the right enjoying the discovery room right now what are you looking forward to um i mean just just coming here like after school the playground is great we used to actually go up the stairs and watch the sunset from up here so it's gonna be really nice to do that again um and also the discovery stuff you know i take the kids for hikes and to the beach so it's nice to have like the fossils and everything to explore so yeah we're really excited all right, we're going to wrap it up here where everyone's having a ball at Ladera Linda's grand reopening. I hope to see you right here and around the peninsula. I'm Liz Brown Swanson, and remember, parks make life better. Oh,